Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We will be reading CC Love Science and Adventure. This book is a special tribute to Williamson Elementary, whoop whoop, where my mom is the science teacher at. We'll be joining CC on a camping trip, so I hope you guys are ready. I know I'm ready. I've got my vest, I've got my book. That's all I need on my checklist, and maybe some s'mores for later. So, CC loves science and adventure. CC loved being an adventure girl almost as much as she loved science. She couldn't wait to earn her camping pin. There was so much science she could explore in nature. She is ready. In the past, Cece had run into trouble earning her adventure pins. The sewing challenge had her in stitches, the jewelry activity tangled her in knots, and the dance lesson totally tripped her up. But this time, Cece could finally put science to work. Cece packed everything on the checklist. First aid kit, sunscreen, bug spray, water bottle, and rain poncho. Then she remembered what her science teacher, Miss Curie, said. Real scientists are always prepared. So Cece packed a few extra things just in case. Binoculars, notebook, pencil, camera, compass, chocolate, graham crackers, animal tracking guide, and twine. Cece's friends, Daisy and Caroline, were adventure girls too. Cece's mother was the group leader. And Cece's dog, Einstein, was their unofficial mascot. When Cece's mother saw Cece's heavy bag, she smiled. Looks like you had an extra checklist. It's good to be prepared, said Cece. Wait, we need one more thing. Sweet, cheered Caroline and Daisy. Do you guys know what she's holding in her hand? Marshmallows, yum. You can't have s'mores without marshmallows. Adventure Girls Camping Pin Worksheet. One, plan your adventure and pack. Two, set up your campsite. Three, go on a nature hike with friends. Four, make a list of different plants and animals you find. Five, make a map of your wilderness route. Six, have fun. And that little extra at the bottom, make some s'mores. Oh yeah. When the adventure girls reached their campground, Cece's mother handed them the camping pin worksheets. Cece, read the task out loud. Task one. Set up your campsite. Putting up the tent will be a breeze, Cece whispered to Einstein, but the wind did not agree. The adventure girls worked together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. They work together as a team. Finally, they had built a home away from home. I think you've earned a snack, said Cece's mom. Einstein gets one too. Ooh, yum. They worked hard and worked together until they finished and got a snack afterwards. Caroline looked at her worksheet. Time to go on a nature hike, she said. Daisy smiled. This is the fun part. I'll take pictures to track our route, says Cece, grabbing her digital camera. 
The adventure girls headed into the wilderness. Daisy found the perfect hiking stick. Caroline picked flowers and Einstein led the path. Cece took pictures of landmarks along the trail, a twisty oak tree, a dry riverbed, and a fork in the path. She also took one of a huge boulder that looked like a gnome with a mossy beard. All of a sudden, the sky grew darker. Uh-oh, said Daisy. I hope it doesn't rain, said Caroline. It's okay, adventure girls, said Cece's mom. Don't worry. But Cece wasn't so sure. She studied the gray clouds and remembered what she'd learned about weather during Miss Curie's meteorology lesson. Mom, I think a storm is coming, Cece said. So Cece's looking at the clouds over here, and she's thinking back to a lesson that her science teacher taught her. We have all these different clouds. Oh. The wind picked up, and the thunder boomed in the distance. Cece, you might be right, her mom said. Maybe the storm is far away, said Daisy. How can we tell, asked Caroline. Cece knew science could solve almost any problem. She told her friends about a trick Miss Curie had taught her. Miss Curie had taught her. If we see lightning, we count the seconds until we hear thunder. Every five seconds equals one mile. Just then, lightning flashed across the sky. Daisy looked at her watch, and they started counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. When they reached 20, thunder rumbled again. That means the storm is still four miles away, Cece said. When thunder roars, go indoors, said Cece's mom. We'd better head back to camp. So they counted how many seconds it was between the lightning and the thunder, and then they divided it by five to get four miles. Cece's mom tried to map the route on her phone. My GPS isn't working, she said. Maybe it's the storm, said Daisy. I know, said Cece, holding up her camera. We can be detectives and use my pictures to make a map. Cece got a notebook and pencils from her backpack. The adventure girls drew a map and marked the spot where they thought their campsite would be. So they used the pictures that Cece took on the hike to make a map so that they could find their way back to the campsite. Suddenly, it started to pour. Oh no, yelled Daisy, we're getting soaked. We need to find someplace dry, said Cece's mom. I know, we can build a shelter, said Cece. Our rain ponchos can be the roof, said Caroline. Daisy, let's use your walking stick as a tent pole, said Cece. Soon, the adventure girls built a shelter. They climbed inside and huddled together to stay dry. Once the storm had passed, Cece's mom said, time to go. How long will it take, Daisy asked. I'm hungry. How far is it, Caroline asked. I'm tired. 
We can easily figure it out, said Cece. She showed them the photo of the twisty oak tree. That was all that was really close to camp, said Daisy. The timestamp says one, said Caroline. Y'all see the timestamp on the photo? So the tree was close to camp. And that was at one o'clock. Cece pulled up their group picture. Look. This one was taken at 1.45. Caroline pointed to the, to the gnome rock, and we took it right there. So, if we subtract 1 from 1.45, that means we're about 45 minutes away from camp, said Cece. That's not far at all, said Daisy. S'mores, here we come, said Caroline. So here... They did math, they did more math to map, well, they made their map already, and then they used more math to figure out how long it will take to get to the camp from where they are. Here's their math. Y'all want to see it some more. Forty-five minutes later, the adventure girls arrived at their camp, ready to eat. But when Cece looked inside the tent, she found an empty marshmallow bag. <gasps> Einstein, Cece's mom scolded. Mom, I don't think it was Einstein, said Cece, pointing to tracks in the mud. Look, something stole our snack, said Caroline. That means there's no s'more for us, said Daisy. Uh-oh, y'all see those tracks? Something went in their tent and took their marshmallows. Now what are they going to do? Cece held up the graham crackers and chocolate bars. We'll just have to make chocolate sandwiches, she said. The adventure girls did a great job today, said Cece's mom. You'll definitely earn your camping pins. And because you solved problems using science, technology, engineering, and math, I'm awarding you STEM pins too. Even Einstein. Hooray, cheered CC. Science rules. Daisy and Caroline hugged Cece. You saved the day, said Daisy. Thanks, Cece, said Caroline. Cece's mom smiled. Since you worked so well together, I'm also giving you a special pin, she said. For teamwork. Cece smiled. Solving problems is always easier when you have a super team. STEM pin worksheets. Y'all see this? So over here, we have our STEM worksheet. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Science is the study of the natural world. So how did they study the natural world? They counted lightning strikes to figure out how far away the storm was. Technology is the use of science in solving problems. And usually it involves something that was created by humans. So they made a map from pictures on the camera so that they could find their way back to camp. Engineering is the branch of science and technology concerned with designing and building structures. They built a shelter to keep them safe. Math is the study of numbers, quantities, and measurements. They used math, they used the timestamps on the pictures to calculate how far they were from camp. They did a wonderful job, and they all worked together. 
Oh, wow. At the end of the book, there's a list of science facts. And, of course, they did it. Way to go, Adventure Girls. You guys can be Adventure Girls and Boys, too. You can set up a tent in your house and do other fun science experiments with your mommies and daddies. I hope you guys enjoyed.